Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and today we're looking at safety and anti-vacuum valves. What are they and how do they fit the anatomy of a coffee machine? So safety valves and anti-vacuum valves, what are they? They're actually two very different products but we're doing a video of them together because people tend to get them quite confused. And there is one exception, there's one machine that I know of, the Bezerra, that actually has a combined safety and anti-vacuum valve, but in most cases, they're two separate units. An anti-vacuum valve basically allows, has a, a piston in it that goes up and down, and it allows the boiler to have air or oxygen in there. And as the, the boiler kind of heats up, the steam pushes that out and it shuts this off and that's when it allows the boiler to be pressurized. If you didn't have an anti-vacuum valve, what would happen is you never actually build pressure because as it heats up, it wouldn't go anywhere. The pressure start would cut off and that would be it. So effectively, you're letting it go, the, the, the air to go out and it to be filled with steam. As the steam pushes this up, it that pin seals and inside is sealed. So if you were to look inside one, as this goes up, it's actually inside there, sealing against there, so now it's shut closed. So the anti-vacuum valve allows the machine to build up to pressure. And the two common ones are this unit and this shorter unit. They're generally either a quarter inch or three eight inch BSP. And some units do allow you to connect a silicon hose. So if a bit of condensation that comes out can go back into your drip tray and never cause a mess around the machine. But either or, if a bit of condensation comes out, the machine is that hot that it evaporates straight away. So that's the purpose of the anti-vacuum valve. In the case of this machine, it sits here. Basically, they always sit at the top of the boiler because the bottom's got water, heats up, pushes the steam, shuts it off boiler can now pressurize. Now the safety valve works a bit differently. The safety valve is there for what the word says, safety. So basically, as the machine gets the pressure, the anti-vacuum valve now closed, and the pressure sat in a heat exchange machine, or maybe the PID, is controlling the, the pressure. As it goes up, it cuts off the element, so the pressure goes down, goes down, turns back on the element, pressure goes back up. If the PID or the pressure stat or thermostat, whatever method of control for that it fails and the pressure keeps rising to stop the boiler effect becoming a little bit of a basically bomb, you got this, which once the pressure, it's got a spring there that's calibrated and once the pressure rises, it allows the pressure to come out basically to protect the machine and protect everything else. So they're a safety mechanism. Now, they do come in multiple threads, so some being 1.8, some being quarter, 3.8 inch BSPs, and they come in sometimes certified or non-certified. What that means is the certified ones are pre-adjusted to a particular setting. Some countries require this, and the non-certified ones, you can turn this and, and bring it down or bring it up, and that will adjust the release pressure. So if you were installing one of these, you should be a technician and you should know how to calibrate these, but effectively they also sit on top of a machine. So you've got your anti-vacuum and you've got your safety. How do you know that these need to be replaced? With the anti-vacuum, it's easy. Sometimes they stick. So if they stick closed and the pressure goes down, the machine won't basically be able to heat up because as soon as it gets to a very low pressure, it will cut off because it, it's pressurizing there, but you're not actually, you're doing only a very small amount of steam, so you're not actually heating up the machine. So if you're having problems where your machine's showing pressure, but it's not really hot, etc., that's probably stuck open. You can service them, but generally speaking, people just replace them. They're quite a cheap unit, and once you replace it, you know you're fresh. With a safety valve, you don't always know it's faulty. So as a general rule of thumb, you should be replacing them in, depending on your, your service period, you should be replacing every few services just to keep it nice and safe. Like there's no particular 100% rule, but I will be replacing mine every few years. And there you have it. They're the safety valves, they're the anti-vacuum valves. That's how they fit the anatomy of a coffee machine. And if you've got any specific questions, hit us up in the comments below and we'll do our best to get an answer over to you guys. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. You know where they are, thank you.